Hey, Hudson here with Planet 4 Gaming. I'm flying the MC202, first Italian plane I've flown on this channel, and until the Italian tree comes out, probably the last, because the rest of them are complete garbage. Anyway, uh, what do I think of this plane? Well, I actually really enjoy it, uh, contrary to the opinion of most people. Uh, Mags recently did a video on this plane where he declared it to be complete unusable crap and you should never fly it and only fly it out in simulator battles uh, but not online only just to fly the plane around. I don't agree with that I think that is retarded but hey to each their own I like this plane I guess I'm in the minority. Uh, for a tier 1 at a battle rating of 2.3 it performs amazing um, based on its climb rate, top speed Handling is not particularly amazing, especially compared to Hurricanes and Spitfires at this battle rating, but it's good enough. It's very well balanced in that area, um, so no complaints there. Um, it'll outrun pretty much everything. Uh, planes can catch up to you if they're if they get the jump on you, but if you know what's going on and you're able to dive away and build up enough speed, you will maintain your top speed much better than other planes and it's easy to get away if you need to. So why is this plane at a battle rating of 2.3 and not 3.3? Well that's because its guns are basically crap. Uh, well, we'll say inconsistent. Sometimes I can get a kill with an easy nice quick burst. Sometimes I have to sit on an enemy's tail for what feels like an eternity wasting half of my belt trying to shoot them down and the most annoying thing is when you get critical damage to their tail multiple times maybe four or five times before they go down and sometimes they still won't go down so yeah the guns are not great that is the only issue and it's not even a really deal-breaking issue for me so with that in mind we'll go into full game now Okay, here we are in a full game on Essen. This is pretty much the standard tier 1 map. And I get into this map probably 90% of the games in the MC202, so I see a lot of it. Starting out, I climbed to about 2,000 meters and then ended up diving in just to investigate this P-36. And once I get into firing range, a teammate takes him out. No big deal. Just going to climb back up and look for another target. There's a hurricane over there. Two PBYs. I don't want to start out the match going after PBYs because I know they're not going to win the game. And it takes a lot of ammo to bring them down, which is a valuable commodity in this plane. Anyway, line up on the hurricane. Get a few shots in. Get some... Uh, smoking there and he's in trouble for sure I was not able to kill him in one pass though uh, with a plane with better guns I probably would have but just something you gotta deal with when flying this plane so line up one more shot and there goes his tail he's history so two passes I mean that's not bad especially for a plane everyone knows has terrible guns uh, I mean, that's usable. <laughs> Nothing to complain about there, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, I can see there's quite a low-level dogfight going on here. P-36 and a gladiator. And we've got a 109 in trouble. F-2A is just taking off, it looks like. It's a late spawn if I've ever seen it. Looking to dive in on the P-36, but he's going very slow and turning kind of tight, so that's throwing me off. Loop over to re-engage. And it looks like I'll be able to get a shot here. So, closing in fast. He's starting a slight bank and climb. Get a few hits. Get a few more, but they don't register and he crashes into my teammate. <laughs> so that's the end of that. F2A up ahead. 
I'm prioritizing fighters, obviously. There's still the two PBYs. <clears throat> Alright, the F2A has now had time to take off and build up speed, so this is a fair fight. Keeping perpendicular to me, and he's making his way for that bridge, I guess, just to take the scenic route. <laughs> Within 4.4 kilometers now, open up on him, and that's that. There he goes. Useless guns my ass. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you couldn't really ask for anything better than that. That's about a quarter second burst, and he's dead. No, no guns are going to do better than that. I'm not saying this always happens with the MC-202, I'd never say that. It's completely untrue, but they are sometimes good. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, get a front, uh, hit on the front of that PBY and his engine smoking, so not bad there either. PBY can take a lot of abuse, though, so I'm not getting my hopes up or anything. Teammate nearly rams him. Line up some more shots. Put in a lot of rounds and finally get a fire there. And he's definitely in trouble. He's not dead yet, but... You can kind of tell the fire is not going to kill him when you don't get any critical damage and see parts flying off, so... I stayed in the area get ready for another attack run and within 0.5 kilometers start opening up another fire and that was a much more effective one <laughs> there he goes into the forest and that's three kills pretty good for a plane that has guns that can't do any damage PBY last enemy plane left and I don't have all that much ammo. I could get a kill with this much, but it, was, it would not be very likely. Yeah, it would not be uh, something to count on, I guess. Trying to aim for his cockpit, but no luck. <laughs> it's a good try, though. And I've got less than 200 rounds in each gun, so not looking too good for me, but I'm going to use up all my ammo on him no matter what, obviously. And he has taken quite a bit of damage. He's listing hard to the right. Looks like I killed a gunner there and did something. Less than 100 rounds now. Get a few shots in from the top. Maybe not the best angle, but that's the rest of my ammo, and he's still alive, so. That's it for me. I'm not gonna ram him or anything. Just gonna do some formation flying because I'm an asshole. <laughs> I don't think he has any gunners left, otherwise, I'd be getting wrecked right now. Yep. Some riveting gameplay here. Maybe I should fast forward this. I don't know. But yeah, I think I will. I, I have nothing to say about this at all, really, to be honest. <laughs> and please, some teammate, come in and end this. I want this game to end. Please end the game. End the game for me. I want my assist. Come on, shoot better than that. <laughs> Finally, he goes down. And that'll finish off this game. So, three kills, one assist. Not a bad showing by any means. I I would I wouldn't expect a game that good from any plane, to be honest. No matter what plane you're flying, three kills is uh, something to be happy about. So yeah. Not a bad game at all. Okay, here we are on what is this? Midway or some shit? I don't know. It's a mixed battle, obviously. KI-21. Set it on fire in one pass. Uh, 
I'll just ruin it for you. I do not get a kill for that, though. Bullshit. It seems like with these guns and the rare chance that you do get to start a fire, it, it doesn't kill them half the time. One with the uh, Browning 50 cals, a fire is almost a guaranteed kill, and you are very likely to get a fire when shooting a gun with tracer rounds or whatever. So yeah, guns are a disappointment, we all know that. Looking to engage that KI-27 who was on my teammate and realized the entire enemy team was there, so I'm going to climb away. I had quite a bit of speed built up, and this plane still performed against every other nation's plane in its BR bracket, so... Yeah, BR spread, bracket, whatever. Alright, eyeing that KI-27 again, looking at the HE-112. Plenty of targets, I just need to decide which one I want to get. KI-27 makes a move on me, so I gotta evade. And I'm looking at those planes strafing the uh, landing craft, thinking those are probably an easy target. Yak-7, not enough lead. I've got a lot of speed built up, and that is directing me straight towards the planes I mentioned earlier, MC-202 and HE-112. So fuck it. Those are the guys I'm going for. They are very slow and very vulnerable, so... Might as well get rid of them while I've got a chance. Head on with the HE-112. Neither of us connect. The high speed kind of ruined my rudder authority. But whatever. Just climb up and re-engage. The MC-202 was the much more aggressive one of the bunch. Once he saw me in the area, he actually uh, tried to engage me. The HE-112 pretty much breaks off first chance he gets to uh, go after the landing craft. So, switch to the 112, within one kilometer, and line him up, he's turning, get a few shots in, nothing serious though. And, just gonna turn around any second now, I promise. Oh, the 202 actually seems to be leaking uh, fuel or something, so maybe I did do some damage to him. And while he's engaging those landing craft, I take the opportunity to dive in, get a few shots in again, and that actually did some serious damage. It looks like a shot off his elevator or something. And he's going in. He's done. He's a goner. See you, buddy. <laughs> so yeah, I, I didn't even get an alert for critical damage, but he still goes down. Very strange, if you ask me. HE-112 has built up a lot of speed and is on my tail, so I just gotta level out and escape. He's only got the two cannons, and he's probably used up a lot of ammo on those landing craft, so I'm not too concerned. Um, he doesn't have much ammo to waste. see a MiG-3 coming in. All, all this time my team had been doing a lot of dogfighting with the rest of the enemy team away from me and it looks like the enemy team has just uh, kinda won that fight because they're all starting to make their way over here. Got some critical damage on the 112 back there. This is a much more honest game than the last one. It's it's a better representation of how things go in the MC-202. You know, the last game was pretty action-packed, and I was able to do some serious damage. This is much more representative of how it goes, and you'll see that here against this MiG-3. Get a few shots in, several shots there that connect but don't give me any credit for anything. Some more there. Nothing serious, though. His plane is barely damaged. And look at this shit. 
just rake his plane with uh, fire. Critical damages of the tail, which which is worthless. I might as well see damage to central gear leg. Any any other plane, that would have been a guaranteed kill, to be honest. That was probably close to a hundred rounds into him, and he he just shrugged it off like it was nothing. F2A, uh, well, F2A1 comes in, able to fend him off and even get a few hits in. Diving on that HE-112, I want to finish that guy off once and for all, I'm sick of his shit. Get some hits in there. And now it's kind of this rape train going on where last guy on my team and the last remaining enemies are just lined up on each other's six. F2A gets the cheekiest bullshit shot into me. Finally set the 112 on fire and go into a last blaze of glory here, taking out the MiG-3. And that will finish off the game for me, as I explode in a tremendous ball of fire. Um, yeah. Wouldn't want to go out any other way. If you gotta die, that's how you do it. Take out two enemies with you and explode. <laughs> no no better way to be remembered than that. So anyway, another three kill game. Not bad, just very slow getting into the game in general, so... That should give you a good idea of how that plane performs. I mean, yeah, its guns are not great, but it, it's still a fun plane to fly. It's a tier one plane that really flies more like a tier 2. It, it feels more at home with the Spitfire Mark II and the P-40 and all that than the G-50 and Hurricane or whatever. It, it, it's a good performing plane. It's very fun. <laughs> its flight model is pretty much perfect as far as I can tell. There's no weird crap going on. There's no wobbling or anything like that. It's it's just very refined. Yeah, like I said, it's fun. It's a cool looking plane. What what more could you want? Come on. Don't be a whiner just because you can't get kills with a plane with shitty guns. Oh, by the way, my belt uh the belts I use are air targets for the 50 cals and stealth for the 30s. I've heard the 30s do more damage, but I don't believe that, so I put the good belts on the 50s with uh, air targets, and stealth with the 30s so I don't get the clutter, and I'm just aiming the 50s. That's all I see anyway with the tracers, you know. So yeah, works pretty well for me. If you've got other ideas, do your own thing. But that's, uh, that's about all I've got to say. If you've got any questions, there's probably something I forgot, so leave them below and I'll get to them. Anyway, sorry this video took so long. Um, reason it did was because I'm lazy. This has been Hudson with P4G. Thank you for watching and get the fuck out of here.